Hi guys, it's Beity. If you would like to see how I created this colorful look, please keep watching. I'm going to start with the eyes and I'm using an eyeshadow primer. With this you just want to add a small amount all over the eyelid and underneath as well. I'm going to start with this purple shade all over the lid. And I want to bring it up to the crease as well and just really diffuse it up. If you use something with shimmer in it, it's much easier to diffuse it and make it that soft effect. Now I will use an angled brush and I'm going to add this underneath as well, all the way along. Also with this brush I can go closer to the lashes just to make sure that the color is all the way in the on the lid. Now I just wipe my brush on a tissue a bit just to get rid of most of the color very gently though and I'm just going around the edges just to make sure that this purple is very diffused almost up to the brow very cool effect especially with a color that almost disappears into your skin tone just gives a very nice effect now with the same fluffy brush I'm taking this purple and this I'm just going to concentrate on the outer corner also quite high so I want it to go to the crease here I'm just making lots of circles to apply this color so it just looks like it's melted into the first purple and I'm taking the dark purple with my angled brush as well I'm going to add a tiny bit to the outer corner underneath just to join them up now I'm going to pick up this color this uh, blue and um, I dampened my uh, brush and this is an angled brush I'm just going to dip it in and this just created kind of a paste on the brush and I'm going to line the eye with this it's a very beautiful blue and also depending on how sensitive are your eyes um, you can put this in the waterline, which is what I'm going to do, or you can get a blue eye pencil that's similar shade. I'm just going to go in to the waterline with this paste. So I'm not making a flick on my liner because I cannot, I think it looks kind of um, nice just mimicking the waterline so just the eye being surrounded by the blue and now I'm going to take this eyeshadow here it's a orange eyeshadow and I'm taking it on a tiny pencil brush and I'm going to add it to the inner corner and this orange kind of starts to look a little bit pink um, next to this purple so it works really nice so if you're working with my matte eyeshadows and they don't want to um, stick when you're blending you just need to pat them in it's a good trick for pastel eyeshadows as well now i'm just going to curl my lashes and i'm going to add a waterproof mascara i'm not adding lashes uh, false lashes today because i don't want to cover that blue liner that we made you can add some individual lashes if your lashes are very thin i'm just going to take the fallout off with a pad soaked in bioderma I'm going to use a moisturizer slash primer so I'm gonna work this into the skin more than I would usually because this is a moisturizer as well and you don't want to leave it on the skin you want to press it in at least the makeup will slide or not apply very well but this has a very nice like sticky texture to it so it will work very nice as a primer I'm going to use a full coverage foundation and I'll use it with a sponge or I am using it with a sponge already I'm just using concealer brush with that same foundation just to cover up some spots for under eye concealer I'm using the Wake Me Up concealer and with darker colors around your eyes you might want to just brighten here right in the corner as well just lifts that corner a bit and if your concealer is creasing you might want to add a touch of powder there i want to keep the eyebrows quite natural so i just lost some footage from my camera unfortunately but um, i just did my eyebrows with the pencil just filled in a couple of spots 
and added an eyebrow gel and I've also bronzed my face with this bronzer and I just went with a big brush everywhere that the sun would naturally hit so in the forehead on the cheek a bit on the top of the nose and on the neck I also used a tiny bit of this highlighter just on the top of the cheek here if you use too much of this highlight it will be purple like in the pan so I just advise to use it very sparingly but if you do use it just a little bit uh, it just gives very very beautiful sheen now I'm just going to use a touch of blush and this is just a, a rosy color so I'm just adding a touch to the apple of the cheek it's the same how you would get a tan naturally and it would just leave a little um, dot of red here and for the lips I'm just going to bounce my sponge on my lips just with a residual foundation because my lips are quite pink and I just want to take away some of the color and I'm using the pencil first I'm just going to use it very softly just throw the middle part of my lips so I'm not gonna go to the corners I'm just going to add some to the lip as well and just blend it. So now that I filled in the lips, I'm going to use a gloss. And this is a lip plumping one from um, Soap and Glory. And I'm just using this throughout the middle because it is very sparkly. So if you use it all over, it can be too much. Not like this isn't too much already. And also you can add it on top of the cupids bow. It will make your lips look fuller. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. For more makeup tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Mel, what? <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm saying. Now I... Now I... Now I... It's like a rave look. Too much is just enough.